Blam. We on. First of all, just, just look at the imagery here. Like, this is... If this doesn't... Just staring at this... Epic... Image. Stir up uh, feelings of, of your past mem memories of maybe past lives or maybe past occurrences or past wars even, past places of remembrance. Of engagements then this video isn't for you because <laughs> this guy's aura and his orak his the the essence the energy he has within and around him and, and this is this is such a beautiful video, uh, regardless of if, if it's his last or not. And this is and this is your boy, uh, Yuvraj Patel. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna <laughs> be one of these people that are like, you know, UV. This is not your last video. You you will not. <laughs> um, no, I'm I'm gonna go towards the. Uh, the other side and say not not necessarily <laughs> that I hope it is your last video a at all but just um, I, I agree with your stance and your stances your your many stances your inner stancing and your over stancing <clears throat> about what you're talking about because I, I feel well, what you're getting at here and I 1000% uh, vibe with you and agree with you and feel where you are coming from but and i'm not ever coming from a place um there's so many things that you touch upon here that i not only have i said but also i i tune with i tone with and one of the things is that i i do not see myself as a teacher and he kind of go, <laughs> goes down the fucking deep in whereas you know we're all fucking hypocrites here and <clears throat> no one's really a teacher and uh dude like I, I fucking vibe with that i mean i know that may come off as whatever or sound like whatever but whenever you've felt the experience and done the work for yourself just like what uv says in here like you don't need fucking words anymore. Words fail to excite or engage the the level of experience that you can feel whenever you let go of your fucking bullshit scripts. Resurrect yourself Re-enliven yourself from the crypt and get real. Understand the script and overstand your fucking... ability to just be. There's so much welling up that, that wants to come out, and it's all, this is all a timing game here if you haven't uh, recognized it yet or not. <clears throat> For the people that uh, feel very deeply, that are tired of this shit, that are tired of going along with the script, I'm going to direct you towards... A different script, a different kind of transit that you can transmit and emit your true emote.
actions and energies in motion. So that you can have gnosis and experience this for yourself and understand what 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 these uh, words that we have been programmed and indoctrinated into using. Not only what they really mean, not only that they're oftentimes asked backwards and flip flopped and uh, turned upside down, so that we are casting spells upon ourselves with these spellings but but being able to move beyond the words into the resonances of the vocalizations and the power within yourself within the vibrations and this is going to be uh, the original language here that I think UV and I'm encouraging you to engage more of is your original essence, language, vibration. Take a step back from the fucking social media, from the always being caught in thoughts. all about perception it's all about choice how we choose to use the things presented to us the things that we have available at hand doing this to the best of our ability but then also realizing that all of this is transient compared to what's inside of us to what we are truly capable of touching upon our all of our true potential So yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna skip around here uh, within this video to, just so I can uh, get inspiration and little guideposts on, on things to talk about. Because I, I don't want to go too far here. Uh, I, I don't want to burst the bubble or <laughs> pop the cherry, which is fucking retarded to say uh, before it's time to and maybe or a harder thing to say or uh, a stupid choice of linguistics but actually it's uh, very very accurate in that everything comes back down to how we choose to engage these most intense energies and emotions and that comes down to how we choose to view the thing that we call uh, sex intercourse or intermingling and combining and uh, making the two into one into the all and uh, the ways to go about doing this you, you can have carnal pleasure, you can have tantric experiences, or you can have it all, and you can be guided by the inspiration of co-creation. And that's when life comes forth from the two, comes the one. That was brought forth out of pure inspiration. And uh, don't we all wish that we were created in such a way? Not created from a drunken, a drunken night of carnal pleasure, which is most people nowadays. But focused... And, to, and agreed upon intent to come forth and agree, create the space of love 
to come forth and be able to start to sink your roots into a foundation that's going to be lasting throughout the ages. This is probably going to be a prelude. Uh, that word. This is probably going to be a prelude to uh, a future video that I made and have 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 yet to put up yet. <laughs> but yet, 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 yeti. But yet, the yeti knows how to withstand the uh, the temperature and the inner woes of nature. Because the inner nature is understood and it's still intact. And that's truly the only way you're going to know for yourself what you've got, what you're all about, what everything's all about. Because you, have, you have to let go of everything. You have to disconnect yourself from everything. So essentially what I'm saying here is like the essence of what UV UV is saying here with this is uh, go into that hermit mode and dive in for yourself. Dive into the fear and, and the loneliness that, that is going to be waiting for you within this solitude and hermit mode until you're, until you're able to see it for what it is and let go of that and let go of everything. Empty your cup completely. Because there are many stages and levels to emptying your cup. And a lot of times, most of the time, people will think they have emptied their cup, but they still have that layer of thick shit built up within them that they have yet to truly let go of. So this is this is what I'm calling for. Is let go of that final fucking layer of shit that you didn't even realize was there. Then, after you've emptied your, your cup, you can start to absorb more light, more awareness, more prana, more information about the formation of nature within and without. How it's interlinked and interconnected. Then you can you can go back into these things like social media, not even social media, but just investigating things maybe on YouTube or whatever, using the internet as a tool with your newfound perception and awareness and clarity and guidance. You, you have tapped into your emotional guidance system and you are able to intuit the flow where you want to go with it. And you will just find what you need to find. It will be at like magic. But really it's just an attunement. And this is something that we can all experience, that we, a lot of us do experience, and then we have our phases of going in and out of it. And also, I wanted to, you know, say real quick, while I'm thinking of it, <laughs> that don't beat yourself up over going back to your old programs, because the fact that you're able to become aware that you're doing it, that's, that's huge. And that, that's, the key into freeing yourself, realizing what you're doing to yourself. So, uh, this is something that I've been told um, many times in my life. Is uh, you're you're too hard on yourself, and almost every fucking time, it's like I, I see where you're coming from, but I don't. I feel like I'm not hard enough on myself. 
but it, it's really um, what's the word a dedication becoming dedicated to a focus So it's not necessarily a matter of hard on yourself. It's a matter of clear within yourself. We may be too hard on ourselves sometimes because we're not being as clear as we can be. So we can utilize everything, all of these uh, artificial constructs of this technocratic world. We can utilize these things as tools, as guideposts to expedite our process of understanding um, all of the multifaceted layers of this fucking bullshit web that has been spun around us within the spellings and the linguistics and the laws and legalese and, and the things that seem to be running the show but really are just putting up a front, convincing people that it, it is running the show. Because money's bullshit. This, this is something for another time here, whenever we can get into the uh, origins where, where, of where money began. Money is a perverted expression of the energetics within you. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that for now. It's convoluted. As is most everything in this backwards linguistic understanding of how things work. So yeah, this may be a long one. <laughs> okay, here we go. Put away your phones! <laughs> Put away the food. Start fasting. Start taking in that sweet, sweet sunlight, that sweet, sweet prana. And start relying on source, on your inner God, on your inner orb. This life is not meant to be lived, be lived like this. It's not meant to be lived through this medium, this YouTube game. It's gone too far. We've, we've got speed but no substance. It's just... What are we realistically accomplishing here? It's not... <clears throat> so yeah, this is what I've been saying. Uh, the quantity has been overwashing the quality. So yeah, this is what... He is saying, essentially, with the speed and no substance. And then also, uh, we're not supposed to be living like this. You know, you're going to have uh, some people, like maybe <laughs> people like Zen, say that, uh, you know, come from a certain angle of Everything is what you make of it, which is the angle that I'm coming from as well. Everything is what you make of it, regardless of what you're presented with. But uh, kind of taking a stance of pronoia, as in uh, this is we all we kind of set this up for ourselves, kind of a thing, which is definitely maybe a better stance to be in than <laughs> uh, paranoia. But I say, uh, find the middle ground between those two, like with, with all things, find the balance, find the homeostasis. And usually the truth lies somewhere within the middle. Now it's really funny because, uh, I just recently, well, <laughs> semi-recently, presented UV with uh, some links to some books 
that uh, he will get into because that's just part of the process. Whenever you go so deep, you, you finally reach upon the true foundations. And that's what these books that I'm going to start to share more of um, are all about. Our true foundations and our true origins. And, and it doesn't matter what you believe. What matters is what you feel with these with these books, with, with anything in life. Because all of life is a book. And it's all dependent upon, do you know how to read with the language of emotion and of the heart? And if you don't, if you're just caught up in the scripts and the conscripts and the fucking bullshit spells of the words and the linguistics, you're, you're disconnected from the heart. And immediately, you are a bio-robot. You're, you're not really even a human anymore. I know that's pretty fucking harsh to say. But, but really, it's, you're encapsulating a human body, but because of the mentality, you have disconnected yourself from what it really means to be a human. And that's what I mean by saying something like that. The capacity and capabilities of what it is to be a human being, the power of the mind, and I'm not just talking about like the kind of Zen aspect of, of mind, and that all is mind. I'm talking about the microcosm of that macrocosm. Your ability to fluctuate and navigate and direct the sphere of the mind with your focus. So in that sense, I definitely agree with you, V, in that we're not supposed to be living like this <clears throat> and, and so detached from nature. And I know that I know a lot of people are going to feel that, um, well, you know, they're going to be caught, maybe some of you are going to be caught in the ideology of evolution or the ideology of um, a certain aspect of progress, what you've been led to believe about progress and evolution. But uh, I'm going to say this again here, that all of the technology that we have created, and this this goes to the technology, this as well goes along with the technology that you don't even know about yet. And, and if you haven't understood this yet the technology that's like finally released to the public or kind of like uh seeded seated out there is stuff that they've had for they you know who who are they the people messing with these kind of things have had for a long time and really it comes back down to they've had it we've had it for forever but we keep going through these cycles like these long term cycles of remembering and forgetting and rise and fall and uh, finding the balance but then going towards you know the fucking the poisoned apple and then and then ca getting caught within again the the ideology and the web of dissecting things and finding out the inner workings and oh we're going to be so much smarter because of this but but very very soon people some of you will realize but ultimately all of us will experience on many different levels and a lot of us already have because of the uh crazy fucking weather that we've been having the yeah, just crazy, the craziness. So everything's kind of, uh, it, we're, we're approaching the perfect storm in that everything's kind of, kind of going to happen at once. And that, and that is supposed to be our reset. It's supposed to be our destruction, I guess you could say. So that we can uh, start start anew and try to get it right this time. But uh, 
enough of us have finally caught on to that and decided that nope not this time like sure we're gonna go through this and i mean um the beast system has propagated to the point where it's, it's unavoidable it's just unavoidable And that's not to say that we're not going to like survive or or, or whatever, because obviously we we've always, um, a few of us have always survived and then started again, and then the whole fucking psycho circus merry go round starts again, and we we fall from grace, we find grace, we fall from it, we we understand why we did, but then we are get caught up in the fucking temptations once again. This time, a certain bridge has been built to carry more of us through this uh, period that we're fast approaching. And really, it's going to be, um, it's going to take the form of really like a transformation. It's going to be a very beautiful thing, people. It's going to be a very, very uh, magical thing that's going to happen. Because uh, if you haven't already noticed, all of the degradations and the uh, corruptions, and, and it's very fucking disgusting whenever you witness the amount of corruption that's, that's spread throughout uh, the world and people's minds. More and more and more, these things are going to be turned upon themselves. They're going to be turned towards if you want to call it the good or the of benefit for all life, all sentience. And when I say that, I don't just mean all human life. I mean uh, all the, hmm, what's the wordings to not sound completely mad, <laughs> which, which is fine. Like, I'm sure I already sound completely mad. <laughs> I'm not going to necessarily get in right now at this in this point in time into like uh, aliens and whatnot and what they're all about and the different factions and, and groups and whatever the different influences even though that's definitely a big part of it all there's many factors in this game that we are living within the matrix so we may come to understand a part of the matrix and then think that we understand the matrix, but really it's just an aspect that we're becoming, we're beginning to understand and understand. And then we realize, oh, hey, there's more to it. So yeah, let's just randomly find a place here and see what's said. It's of a distant memory of the past of me speaking in YouTube or talking as a digital recording. This is the part of me that ends here. And I've thought about it. And I've come to this conclusion that this is where this part of me must end. And so the revolution will not be televised. <laughs> so that's how it goes. And so this technological trap can evolve on arbitrary methods, but it will never be the real thing. That that was that was beautifully put and, and this, is, this is what I've been saying that the so called advances with technology and I don't think I finally got to the point last time I was mentioning that is that um, all these technological advances that, that we think you know oh my god we're so civilized we're so evolved and we're so uh, we're so smart and educated nowadays. All, and I'm gonna say this with um, 
absolute confidence and, and assuredness because of the gnosis. It's just what it is, the false experience. That all of these things are likened to prosthetics to what is within us. We are the most advanced technology in, in the entire universe. And uh, like I also repeat, don't take my fucking word for anything. You can experience this for yourself. You can experience all of life, all of these things for yourself. If you choose to let go, let go of the bullshit, let go of what you've been taught to believe in. That's, and it's not an easy thing to do, by any means. It, it, it very most likely will be the hardest thing to do. Especially if you have heart connections tied in with, with, with the fucking Matrix bullshit. Then it's going to be very hard. And you're going to have to go through a lot of fucking pain. And you're going to be left with a choice. Do I choose to go down the route of being comfortable, being able to relate to everyone, to more people, to my family, to my friends? Or do I go down the path of what I know is true within me? Which most likely is going to be, is going to mean letting go of all of my previous attachments, at least for the time being, letting go of that. And this is also something I want to say here. Uh, Yuvraj, with your video here, this is essentially what people have, um, what to say. The mentality that you are faced with Whenever you are right at the precipice of diving, di diving to the other side, this is exactly what the di the inner dialogue that you will have. Well, all of that, all of the outside shit is bullshit. I gotta let go of that right now, and just go with what's happening. If you ever do any any deep shamanics, if you ever do any deep spirit healing with, with spirit medicines and during the period where you're starting to feel the initial effects you have a multitude of things happening you know it's, it's always going to be dependent upon the person and their own egos and ideologies and mentalities it's all about mentality and perception and perspective But if you take a strong dose of any kind of medicine, and this medicine can take a form, the form of many different things, and you don't even necessarily need to take anything. This can be just, and I've had this happen many fucking times where I'm not on anything, and then I feel this buildup happening, and then this breakdown because of the felt emotion is so pure that it just breaks your fucking. barrier down of what you thought you were basically it breaks your ego barrier down to what you really are and, and then you just have your release whatever form that may take and then you just be there and experience and in that moment of timelessness and purity and this is a very similar thing that will happen with intense plant spirit medicine experiences the come up will happen you will start to feel more and more and more connected potentially to the point where you have full connection full recollection of all memory past present future all memory and all your dream time memory as well you will have full access to all of it and then you will be uh, 
depending upon you know the dosage, the strength of the medicine you will be presented with an option do you sit do you stay there and dwell within uh this newfound or really it's just it's newfound in that you didn't realize that you had access to it. So do you stay there and dwell within these places or do you let go of it? Do you realize that this is something that's always there within me? But what's what's coming, what I feel is on the precipice. That is going to blow open my perceptions way more than staying within the mentalities and the ideologies, the concepts, and the inter the interactions and engagements of what I'm currently experiencing. So you have to let go of that if you want to move onward. When you, if you want to truly empty your cup out all the way, scrape it from the very bottom of the barrel, scrape that gunk out, and then just be the zero, be the void, so that you can fill yourself up back with pure experience and pure felt connection of what it means to be not just within the body but beyond all of the bodies in the one the one thing that I can guarantee you that is infinitely more valuable than anything else. Forget about the sun music. Forget about the breathing. Forget about the urine therapy. Forget about all of that. This is all important, equally. But if you can focus on the singularity point, if you can focus on one singular point and block everything else out of existence, then that point will emanate answers. That point will give you answers to questions before you even ask them. Yep. Oh God. And so from the Okay, there we go. But uh yeah, that's that's also something I've talked about with the uh answers are within the questions. Once you access a certain point within yourself, you will realize that any question that comes, uh the answer preceded that, really. And it's just not understanding, not yet being at the place where You allow the answers to come to your forefront. But the singularity, yes. I believe what is what is really being mentioned is the focus, the focal point. To where you really access your your pinpoint of a singular focus you you kind of collapse all of reality down to a single point and within that point and within the void that's where everything's at and so the spark of awareness imagery imagination inspiration it all comes from this single point and whenever we can focus more and more on feeling this point of gaining access to it, and it's much, it's very much likened to our awareness throughout the day that we have. We go throughout the day, and we have, we're presented with so much stimulation, and that's that's also the design of this uh, system here is to stimulate us and keep us distracted with entertainment. So we're, we're constantly distracted and going uh, back and forth and away and towards, toward to this, this focal point here. And that, and that little fucking point is going to be the essence of everything.
that's going to be where the original answer is. Forget all the answers to all the questions. I'm talking about the original answer to the original question, which is why. The deepest of whys. And, and, and feeling and knowing the answer to that. Okay, let's do one more random point here and see where we end up. It's quite, it's frankly, it's quite, uh, it's ironic. I'm tired of it. Because I know I could meet you guys on the astral plane. I know I could basically show up at your front door and help you right then and there in person. If I had the power to do that, but I don't. Yet. My viewers, the people who watch me, all I can say is, this is what it is from afar. I can't show up at your doorbell. I can't fucking shake your hand. I can't, you know, it's like, there's such a distance between all of us because of this stupid fucking technology. And it's just like, Okay, let's see if I can remember everything I want to say here. First of all, like, uh, there's a, there was a lot of cants, cants in there, uh, cantations. But, <sighs> oh, god damn storage. There should be a lot of cans, um. And it's just a mentality and perspective. Uh, can't right now where I'm at, but that doesn't mean that I forever can't. And I've had very similar imageries happen with me when it, when UV is talking about uh, not just astral projection, but basically teleportation. Um, this has been something that I've been playing around with and contemplating for and engaging for quite a while. So uh, it, it's fucking beautiful to see people start to talk about it. Really, it is. To start to talk about our, our essential capabilities that we've been led astray from, distracted from. So yeah, I'll end it with that, and I'll end it with, everyone do your thing, and fast, yes, there, but there are many levels of fasting, you can fast from anything, uh, I would definitely recommend right now fasting from technology, from your social media, from your phone, this is the reason why I don't have a fucking smartphone, except for what I use to record some stuff from. But that's not my phone that I carry around with me. I carry around a dumb phone. <laughs> but, and this is very timely as well because of springtime. Like, everything's starting to come back to life in nature. So, like, a lot of us with, within ourselves are starting to feel the same thing in life and in happening. So, yes, like, get out in nature. Spend time out in nature and reconnect. And you don't, you don't need fucking technology and phones for that shit like you are the fucking technology experience that integrate it feel the interconnectedness between your inner and outer nature go out in nature and just feel just if you can just sit in silence with your back against a large the largest tree that you can find or just a very healthy or beautiful uh graceful tree that you find set your back against that stare at the sun or, or just be face towards the sun if you're not into sun gazing and you can close your eyes just allow the sun to enliven your skin and your body and your aura and put your bare feet on the ground and just sit in silence and feel and see what happens
just be. We don't need all of this garbage and this crap to just be. And that's where the essential nature is within us. And just the beingness of being awareness and being that focal point. And releasing into it and just flowing. Just allowing that flow to become our life. That's where the magic's at, people. Be it, feel it, know it. Peace.